Hello, my name is Anish Mehta. I am an infectious disease physician and an associate professor of medicine here at Emory University. I'm also a member of Emory Sears Communicable Diseases Unit, which is our biocontainment unit located at Emory University Hospital. So coronaviruses are viruses that we've known about for a long time. There are seven coronaviruses that infect humans. Four of them are cause very mild infections, the common cold, and they've been circulating for years and years. Unfortunately, in 2000, or late 2019, we discovered a new one in Wuhan, China, that has been causing a, a very severe disease in some patients. And as we have learned, has spread um, across China and now to multiple areas of the world. The novel coronavirus seems to start out with very general flu-like symptoms, like a common cold. But unfortunately, this virus can progress and cause symptoms in the lungs, so in leading to a viral pneumonia. And this is how people often become sick, particularly after the first week of illness. So the first tip I would recommend is practicing good hygiene at all times. The most important component of that is good hand hygiene cleaning your hands whenever you've touched a surface or anything that may be contaminated. And the second part of that is if you have sneezing or coughing to make sure that you cough into your elbow <coughs> so that you prevent the spread of your germs to other people. So one of the really important components of preventing illness is vaccination. As we know right now, we have a lot of flu going around, so it would be really important for all of us to get our flu shot so that we're protecting ourselves and our neighbors from getting influenza. So another tip is if you develop symptoms of a respiratory virus, an illness in your upper respiratory tract like sneezing or coughing, to make sure that you contact your healthcare professional to uh, see if you need to seek further medical attention. So Emory Healthcare and Emory University are working together along with Georgia Public Health to make sure that we are all working together, um, keeping up to date on the situation. And if there are any individuals who are concerned about the coronavirus or may be infected, that we can get that those concerns addressed immediately in the proper fashion.